So it is about 10 o'clock right now and we just got to Christopher's allergy clinic to do his allergy testing today. He's just doing like skin testing, I think. But um, we just got into the office itself, so we're just waiting for the allergist to see us now. All right, so we just did everything right now. Did some food and seasonal allergies, I think. These ones are the seasonal and then these ones are the food. And then I think this one over here is like a control. But um, he has to lay down for 15 minutes. I'm gonna put something on the um, Disney Plus for him to watch now. All right, so it's only been like a minute. This one's watermelon. Oh, I'll show you, Chris, okay? Not sure what these ones are yet. Alright, it's been five minutes. Are you getting itchy? Alright, so... All done, we're about to put a shirt on. He has some aloe on it right now. These are different types of outdoor things and then that one was watermelon. All right, so we just got finished and he had reactions to a lot of outdoor stuff, which I figured because he always has like a runny nose and he's always pretty stepped up. Um, birch and oak, walnut, um, grass, Bermuda grass, lamb quarters, red root, pigweed, and mulberry, which the mulberry and walnut or oak, I kind of thought because those that we have at our house, we have a really big oak tree and a really big mulberry tree and um, he has a lot of allergies, like regular allergies. So I guess that's why. And then he had an immediate reaction to watermelon. The spot got pretty big on his back. I didn't get to take a video like at the very, very end of his reaction, but it was pretty big and swollen. So um, definitely she said no watermelon, take it out of his diet. She prescribed another EpiPen. That way we have um, an additional one to like leave out like my mom's or like school or anything like that and then to have one with us and um and then she I talked to her about like his dairy and wheat problems and um she recommended because when you have she said like when you have internal reactions to things those are like delayed reactions and they happen once the food gets to like your gut basically that we would need to do like elimination in order to get it out of his diet but the fact that he started having like his gut problems once we reintroduced the dairy and the wheat she said that um it's most likely just the dairy and the wheat that is causing all of his gut problems um and um otherwise she said we don't need to go back unless we want to do a follow-up in about a year to retest for the watermelon she said at some point he could possibly grow out of it, but right now it's considered a, like a severe reaction. So um, no watermelon. And she said no artificial watermelon or anything like that either. So to pay attention to packaging and um, ingredients and juices and stuff like that. So we're gonna have to look out for stuff like that. And I'll probably look into the dairy and the wheat and stuff too. Um, maybe start carrying some like, I don't know, some like oat chocolate milk in the house instead for him and um, stuff like that. But we're gonna be heading back home in just a minute. It's already 11 o'clock. I don't know if we'll get food or not before we head home. Um, but we're all done here and it's about, it's a little over an hour to get back to the house. All right, we just stopped to get some bagels. Got lox cream cheese. <laughs> Is that good? And fresh orange juice. 
All right, so it is just a while later. We drove back home, which took like a little over an hour. And then um, we drove 20 minutes into um, uh, like the town that's kind of close to us to get Christopher's prescription um, because that's the pharmacy that we use and it wasn't ready to pick up even though the lady put in the prescription at like I think it was like 10 o'clock this morning and so we have to wait and then by the time we got home I got a message saying that it was ready so um, that's ready Garrett's probably just gonna pick that up later once the kids go to sleep I'm gonna have to check to see what time they're open till though and that's just for Benadryl and then an additional EpiPen uh, it's a little messy, but not bad. The living room's pretty disastrous, though. Um, Garrett has a hard time keeping the living room clean when I'm not home. So, <laughs> uh, I gotta wipe up a little bit. And last night I made, um, the, well, there was the, like, pot roast that I showed you that I slow cooked. And then... I ended up finishing the mashed potatoes and gravy after um, after I had my like online registration class. So we're gonna do that for dinner since we didn't like do that last night, and um, so it'll be easy dinner. It's like three thirty, so I'll probably make that in like an hour, and I'm just gonna clean up like as much as possible until then. I also have some pretty serious swelling and my ankles going on right now and it's a little sketchy so I'm gonna call my midwife just to let her know um it, I noticed it when we were in the car on our way back and I could literally push into my ankle and it stays <laughs> I've never had that happen before I'll show you really fast but okay so we got my beautiful ankle right here Do you see that? It's so swollen. I'm pretty sure that's not good. <laughs> so, um, hopefully, like, that's not, like, um, I don't know, like, too abnormal. <laughs> I've never had it personally happen to me, but I looked it up, and I guess, like, it could happen during pregnancy. So, um, but I don't know, like... I have, like, had that, like, nauseous feeling for, like, the last week or something. So, I'm just going to mention that to her. I'm supposed to have my appointment tomorrow. But I think I'm just going to call their office before they close just to let them know. Um, because, yeah, I, I don't know. That makes me feel kind of, I don't know. It feels hella sketch to, like, push into your skin and have, have like, your skin form around your finger and stay like that. And it's still like that. <laughs> and it's like a minute after I pushed into it. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and call and let her know. And then I'm going to try to just uh, tidy up a little bit, tidy up the table in the living room and whatnot. All right. Everything is cleaned up. Still needs to get mopped tonight. My floor is pretty dirty. All the counters are cleaned. About to take out the leftovers to heat up. Kids helped clean the living room. Yeah. And now I'm watching Ratatouille. Yep, and now you're watching Ratatouille. Yeah. We have um, mashed potatoes and gravy, the pot roast, and some fresh nectarines. So we got some bread. Is it good? Garrett's just barbecuing some jalapenos for his plate. Of course, they're just eating bread. Is that Indian? Get a figure truck.
All right. All right, well, all the kids are asleep now. It is like 6.30, I think. And the only thing that I have to do is clean up from dinner. Uh, Garrett ran a load of dishes earlier. So I'm going to unload the dishwasher and then load the dishwasher and just quickly wipe down the table. Um, I did not wipe down my counter after I made the mashed potatoes and stuff last night and the ants absolutely invaded it. It was like the first night that I didn't wipe off my counters really before bedtime and so I need to make sure that I wipe off all the counters and um, then I think I'm probably just going to relax. My feet are still extremely swollen. I did call my midwife about it and we kind of just played tag team um, just like basically calling back and forth trying to get a hold of each other and they left a message just saying just as long as um, I'm not having like any other symptoms right now like any floaters in my eyes or um, like things like that then I should be okay until I get my appointment uh, tomorrow to check up on me. She said that um, it can be pretty normal for that amount of swelling with how hot it's been um, because it's been in between like 80 to probably like 95 the last like week or more and then on Thursday it's supposed to be 109 so it's been pretty toasty so I think I just need to try to drink some more water I need to take it easier on my body and I'm going to um, probably just take 20 minutes to clean up and then lay down and I'm gonna put my feet up and I'll edit this video. I'm behind posting on a video just because one of them didn't upload properly and then by the next day when I needed to upload it I was already vlogging the second video so um, I have another video that is going to get posted before this. Um, I think it was my vlog from yesterday and then so it's kind of the vlogs are like a day behind technically now so um like when you guys see the monday vlog it's going to be wednesday and then when you see this vlog it's going to be thursday and today's tuesday so it's kind of a little funky but it'll even out by next week just because i don't normally film vlogs like on the weekends but that's all for tonight i need to go clean up and then finally relax and take off my makeup and my socks and my shoes and whatnot. I hope you guys liked this video. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you did. Um, I really enjoy seeing your guys' comments. Not a lot of people comment on my videos, but I really do appreciate it when I see your guys' comments. Um, even if I don't respond back to it right away and I dislike the comment, sometimes I just get kind of busy and I probably would come back to it and comment. But um, yeah, I really appreciate all the comments that you guys do post. And uh, go ahead and make sure that you have your notification bell turned on for my videos since I post kind of sporadically. Even though I post frequently, it's never at the same time of day. Every once in a while, videos are skipped during the week or the weekend or whatnot. So it's a good idea to have that on so that you know exactly when I post my videos. Um, I also do other mommy lifestyle videos, lots of vlogs, and uh, pregnancy updates for my channel as well. So if you guys are interested in all that, uh, make sure you subscribe and I will see you guys later. Bye. My name.